ladies and gents, I have a new Romy Reports that will be going up. It may go up before this video, may go up after. I'm not sure yet, but it's about Roseanne. So if you want to see a video about me going in on Roseanne and the fact that that show came back with her at the helm, even though all the foolery and the injustice that was lured to Blackish with that whole Colin Kaepernick episode, then watch that video. Anyway, my name, well, welcome to my channel, Romy Reviews. Please like, comment, subscribe at some point during this video if you already haven't done, you know, one or all three. And let's go. Basketball Wives, season, <laughs> technically season seven, we'll go with that, episode three. So the episode starts off with Shawnee. Why does it start off with Shawnee? And, see, the thing is, Shawnee is talking to Tammy. Tammy isn't feeling the fact that Jen went and said something that was just on the phone call that was just something tongue-in-cheek brought back to the group. Jen being very messy. I said, well, you mean just being more of the same because that's what we got before. Um, and she's just, again, perplexed as to how Jen can go and that whole thing of loyalty of where do her loyalties really lie. That's the main thing. And also the hee-hee-ha-ha -ha when... You didn't want to laugh at my joke about Evelyn, but when Evelyn made jokes about me, you laughed. I said, yes, Tammy, because at the end of the day, Jen and Evelyn are closer than you and Jennifer will ever be. That's just how it is. It, you, the fact that they can come back together speaks volumes. Come on now. Let's just think for a second. So anywho, we have Cece. She goes and she meets up with Jen and Evelyn, and she has... Okay, this whole thing was dumb. Cece wanted to go and defend her honor. She wanted to go and defend her honor as to, I don't go and do those shenanigans. There is no happy endings. There is no, there's none of that. So why is it, why is it that story circulated? Jen and Evelyn completely deflect and say, oh, we told that to Kristen. So you're telling me that she didn't tell you it was a joke? No, she made it seem like it was serious. I'm thinking, of course it was a joke. It was a dumb one. It wasn't funny. It was just them being mean girls. And I'm glad that, well, I should say mean women because I don't like to. So, mean women. And I just, I'm glad that CC realized they're playing the game. And... A real, in the grand scheme of things, it isn't that serious, but it was her introduction into this group. And that's what happens all the time. So Cece wanted to show the group what she does and obviously promote her business. Get it? So I said, okay. So she gets this nice room and she brings all of her stuff and she has all these different machines and techniques. Jackie and Malaysia come in first. So Jackie wants to get her boobs felt up. It's like, oh, they can do what? And essentially, they're going to go and I guess make them a little bit plumper, suck the de dead skin, whatever it is, out of there. And you know Jackie's all for that. Oh, someone's going to go and mess up my cleavage. Oh, this is great. We know how Jackie is. And, wow, it's 11 already 6.30. Jeez. Uh, while Jackie's having that done and making noises, you know, mm, the rest of the ladies come. So Shawnee, Evelyn, and Jen... They get there, they're looking like, huh, remember, Evelyn and Jackie aren't on good terms. So Evelyn stays on one side, Jackie stays on the other side. Everything is going okay, everyone's filling up boobs. Whew, but I know Jen started drinking quickly. I'm thinking, uh-oh, Jen's going through something right now. Kristen, Krista gets there and she has a problem. She's a little perplexed as to why is it that they're they're trying to spin this thing because Jen was like, you know what? Oh, what type of dreams do you like? Oh, yeah, and you know, well, this one t made you tell the truth, and that offends Chris because she's thinking. First off, they don't know me like that. Second off, what are you insinuating that I'm lying about? And that's when Jen and Evelyn try to do the Jedi mind trick of, oh, well, you didn't tell Cece that what we said was a joke. So now we feel a certain way because what we said was a joke. You reported back to her, making her feel like 
it wasn't a joke and that hurt my feelings. Kristen is looking at them like, hello, you said what you said. You said what you said. And so what's the problem? Why are you trying to go and flip it again? These, I'm glad that these new ladies aren't dumb. They see, they probably watched the shows before. So they see how this can go. So they want to make it very clear. Chris is saying, I would never try to go and put you in a bad place. She's saying, I don't think you would try and go put me in a bad place. I'm just trying to go and make sure everyone knows from my lips, but I don't do those type of shenanigans. I'm saying, and that's where it needs to end. But Kristen starts getting upset because Jen's trying to go and, and say, wait a minute, you, you call me a liar? Oh, you call me a troublemaker? You call me a troublemaker causing drama? Yes. Yes. How, how can I do that? I have so much going on, so much on my plate. I'm, I'm going, I'm here. I'm there with the courts and lawsuits and someone seeing me now I'm lying to them. So I don't need this drama in my life. I said, okay, and that's what it is. Jen, you wanted a quick little joke at someone else's expense and it blew up right in your face and now you're upset. Instead of saying it was a joke and we're just going to end it there. We're going to dead it there. It became this huge unnecessary thing and now... Everyone has to take a different side. It was pointless. There was a fake hug between Kristen and Jen. And again, it's not like they have real issues with each other. It's just that it's when the immature stuff goes too far. Or at least it, it, you do it to people who aren't. That's not what they do. They're not the ones in a sense. And because they're not the ones, they're going to tell you, okay, that was some bull. That was some mess. Don't do that. And then you get defensive and your tr the true colors come out and we say, okay, well, can we just drop this? Yes, we can drop this. Tammy takes Lyric out. That's her daughter. Um, out wedding dress shopping because Tammy's planning on getting married. And Lyric essentially goes and lets Tammy know that she does like Reggie. She does approve. And she actually feels bad that how she used to treat Reggie. And it was because of how... She didn't have a relationship with her father. And so in her mind, it's like, how dare this new man come in and essentially try to take over when the one that's supposed to care about me didn't do. So it was just, um, it was just boggling her mind. And so now she's in a better place with her own father, and which means that she can accept this potentially new one. And he's shown that he's cool and consistent. And I like the dress that Chammy chose for herself. I definitely do. I know a lot of people feel like, ooh, Tammy's been losing a lot of weight. But Tammy's been slim for, well, I guess at this point, people are calling her skinny. Tammy's been skinny for a hot minute. I don't know what you were watching. She's been this weight for a while now. So I don't know if maybe people feel like she needs to add more fats into her diet to just make things a little bit more plumper. But if you saw Tammy, how she used to look, you could see that her cheekbones, that they were going to be that defined if she lost weight in there. And that's what she did. Now we have CC and Kristen. They're walking and talking. And again, they realize that these ladies are trying to pin them against each other. Why? Because it's just like a girl's click, clicky, clicky. It's dumb. It's petty. It's, it's idiotic, actually. And I'm glad that they see it for themselves. So what they're going to do is they're going to make sure that they don't go and let other people uh, mess with their friendship cool jackie goes meets up with tammy why because og's there now og is acclimated into a group and og's a, uh i should say jill of all trades instead of a jack of all trades she's a jill of all trades og's thing is she has her professional sports life she also wants to do a swimwear a, a swimwear line she also wants to open a salon or something. She wants to do a bunch. And so when she was laying out her roadmap, Tammy said, okay, all right, I can see a mini, I can see us being similar. Because before, I think Jackie said she saw OG as a mini Tammy or like, or OG said herself that she always saw, you know, saw herself as Tammy or like her reflection as Tammy. And Tammy said, hmm, reflection? Visual? I said, Tammy, don't do it. I have a feeling you're actually going to like this girl. So don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Keep it cute. Keep it cute. Lyric met up with. Oh, Lord. I know his name. Old, Reggie. With Reggie. And they're going flower shopping. Trying to figure out. 
what flower so, so it's going to be a rose but it's not going to be a red one those are common a uh, different color rose they're arg not arguing but they're going back and forth of which rose they think tammy would like it's all cute and all and then lyric apologizes to reggie and there was an apology that was needed because reggie he didn't never say oh you didn't have to he, he was just like mm, yes yes that's right <laughs> because she realizes that she was being extra standoffish and making it difficult for him because of her own issues. I said maturity. Tammy, shout out to you. See, now that's a great reflection on you when your kids act right, especially on camera. <sighs> and Tammy, you can tell that she's getting money because Tammy's trying to be very calm, not try to let anything mess with her money going forward. So she even talks to Jen. She talks to Jen and she's, per again, Tammy's perplexed. She's trying to figure out where do your loyalties lie? Why is there an inconsistency between how your interactions with Evelyn is versus your interactions with me? Jen is trying to say, this whole loyalty thing. You know what? I'm a little tired and over that whole loyalty thing. And I said, oh, Jen. Jen. Jennifer. That wasn't the right move. That wasn't the right move. It wasn't. The reason why it wasn't the right move is for one simple reason. You clearly show more, uh, a stronger kinship with Evelyn and camaraderie and all's fair and we're going to sit together versus Tammy. And Tammy's whole thing is if I'm your friend too, then your friend for real then what you can do going forward is show it to me by not at switching it up. Whatever consist whatever consideration you have for Evelyn, you should have for me as well. I said in a real perfect world, and if your friendship was as strong as you thought it was, absolutely right. But hmm, now you're seeing that isn't the case. At OG's birthday party, because she threw a birthday party. Hmm, okay, let's try this again. So OG said she was throwing the third birthday party. I'm thinking, were the people she actually knew, were they in the house or something? Because this looks like a, I'm going to invite you to the back of where I'm currently living or currently staying. Or I'm going to get this quick venue at someone's place. And I'll invite all the ladies there and introduce myself. And that'll be fine. Because that's what it felt like. There was like stragglers. And I said, well, are those extras? Are those people part of production? Because they don't look like they know each other. They look like, okay, why are we here? Anyway. Jackie, being Jackie, shows up in, I guess it was African garb. I don't know what particular, particular culture. I don't know that. But I guess it was African garb. Everyone else is dressed regular for this girl's birthday party because OG's Nigerian, so she wanted to show some of her culture at this party. Again, I'm thinking, so where is the actual party? I do not hear music. I do not see food. What? I, I don't even see drinks. <laughs> What's really going on? And then OG comes around wearing this swimsuit. And I said, no, OG. OG. OG is built. So when you're built, less is more. It's true, the fashion. But she had this... She had this like church mother hat on and then this, this almost like shawl veil thing underneath that was sheer and see-through and basically her undergarments was all up in the butt crack. And so I said, you know what? Okay, OG, you work out. We see that. You Okay, fine. Jen and Evelyn, they're on the way to the party. Now the thing is, remember. Now Evelyn has issues with two people. It, it's just too much. It's just too much. It's too much for one person. It, it is. So now once Evelyn and Jen get to this party, Jackie miraculously walks and is looking at the bar. I said, okay, so that's where the drinks are. <sighs> Tammy already knew it was going to be some mess. She had a blank. <laughs> Tammy. <laughs> Jen thought it was a good idea to go and have Evelyn come over to talk to Tammy. So let's be very clear. Jennifer asked Tammy if Evelyn can come over so you can talk. Jennifer then, before getting an answer from Tammy, because Tammy definitely looked, gave her that look of, are you serious? Are you serious? 
in comes Evelyn because Evelyn's thinking, dang, you know when somebody, you know when you want to do something, and your friends like, come on, you're like, mm, you can bring them on get you like, okay. We in public though. <laughs> That's what that was. She goes over there and the, the conversation commences. Jackie comes back and sits next to Tammy. But while well, before it gets to a part two, Evelyn and uh Tammy agree that that's it. There is no friendship. There's a lot of inconsistencies, the little hee hee ha ha jokes. Oh. It it's that whole thing of you mess with my friend and it looked very inconsistent and I just didn't believe you. You don't come off trustworthy. You slept with my ex. And so it's just all of that when it comes to Tammy. Because Evelyn is saying, I understand how part of this is because it looks fishy. How when the time frame that I donated to uh, Takari's son's GoFundMe. And, and I know I was coming back to LA. It's just the timing looked crazy. But really, I wasn't trying to do anything malicious. And so Tammy, Tammy and Evelyn just agree that they're not friends. They have too much miscommunication and pettiness and bad blood to go back. So now Jackie comes back and now it's a part two. Jackie, she was attempting to come back with a kumbaya moment. But because Tammy had to fill her in. Hey, part of the issue I have with this one over here is because this one over here, she's saying that when she donated to the GoFundMe deal, that stuff, it was it wasn't malicious, and the timing was just to make herself look good. But now it's time for Jackie and Evelyn to fully discuss uh, because Tammy's but Tammy's not done. Tammy still feels a certain way about these little jokes that you keep digging at me and if we're supposed to be cool why are you going at me like that it's that constant mean girl thing and i'm just tired of it i said yeah i can see that being tiring so now jackie and evelyn are arguing because jackie's trying to figure out i apologize to you and obviously i haven't seen your daughter and he's like you'll never see my daughter i said okay well that's fine then obviously i can never apologize to her she doesn't need apologies from you you're dead and i said okay fair enough but <laughs> and this is where but this is where I can't just ride for Evelyn even though she looks good and 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 that's, and that's more than enough for me to go and side. But Evelyn, after Jackie did what she did, you turned it into the petty with her daughter. And that's where I can't just go and act like, okay, at, at this point you have absolutely no fault in this situation. You do. You absolutely do. You started off on the right path, and then you you let the you let the pissed defensive mother, but also petty side come into play, and say, "Well, let me see, let me hurt Jackie, and go through her daughter to do that, to let her feel how I felt when she even it's used language that besmirched my daughter's character, and she's actually she's actually a good person and not out here. So we get it. you know, ladies won't be friends." There's a bunch more arguing. I don't care. That's it. Please like, comment, subscribe. We'll c come back for part, part two. Again, watch my video for my reaction to Roseanne being canceled. The show and the person. Good times. Good times.